Welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create a quick cyberpunk LA scene. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we are in a fresh blender scene. Today we want to use cargo again. So let's hop right over. And if you have some problems with importing your stuff, you can go to account down to the software settings. When you're using a new Blender version or this one will not import to 3.6, you have to select here, add new software, choose Blender, and then you can select 3.6. And after that, it will install you the new plugin. So after that, this should work. So let's go back to models and want to go to access. We want to use here the Back LA game store. So let's press download and import. That we want to use here the Cyberpunk LA. Press download and import here for this one as well. Let's hop over to Blender now. And now it should look like this. And you have uh, the LA and the GameStop here in your Blender. Everything is linked up, which is cool. And now we want to duplicate here the LA because we want to use this for geometry nodes later. Let's uh, open up this one here and select everything under the empty with shift. And now we can press shift and D escape. Uh, so it will be on the same place. Now we want to open up this, uh, this duplicated one and select everything and press m u collection underscore la and we want to hide this one now so let's uh, uncheck this one here now we can adjust here the other two to the position which we want to use today so let's go with a five by five by minus 90 in the z and the game store goes to minus five by five by 90. yeah we can delete here the cube Want to bring in a plane so let's go with this one with 10 by 50. yeah now we can hide the whole collection here because we want to make some adjustments for the la to duplicate this so let's hide this one and bring this one in and now let's press 7 on the num block and we can see that this one is not right in the center let's uh, select here uh, the children of the empty now let's press Alt and uh, Z so we can see a little bit more and we can see that this one is not in the center. So let's press G and Y and bring this a little bit down here in between these pipe stuff here. So the red line is here in between. Something like this is okay. We are doing this because we want to stack this later with the geometry nodes and otherwise we will get some gaps. Okay, let's uh, go to Alt and Z again and now we want to delete all the stuff which is on the floor so let's press x to delete and everything which is on the floor here this is looking good now we can i want to make an instance of this one and we want to make a second instance Rotate this one here in the Z to 180 degrees because we want to use both sides. And let's put this stuff into a new collection, which is LA all. Now we can hide the stuff here. Let's bring a new cube. And this is uh, geometry nodes wall. And let's bring in here now the geometry node editor, new one. And let's bring in bring in here the LA all we need a grid and we need a instance on points let's put the mesh into the points and the instance into the instances and this one goes here now into this one yeah as we can see a little bit overlapping here now but we will fix this let's make a separate children and pick instance so we are having only uh, one mesh on one point and now we can adjust here the grid a little bit so let's go with 63.3 by 18.6 the grid is not vertically it's horizontal and to change this we have to go to transform geometry and bring this one here inside 
and change the X to 90 and that looks better here now. Now we can adjust here the vertices. So let's go with five by four. Let's bring back our collection here of the scene. And now we can adjust this, bring this uh, into the right position. We need another geometry node and put this here to 5.6 by 10 by 9.1. And let's rotate this in the Z to 90. So this fits here now into the scene. Let's go and duplicate this to the other side. So uh, that's really easy. Let's search here for a join geometry. We need another one. And when we are putting this together, we have created a second wall. We have to bring this now to the new position. So let's make a new transform. And this one goes right into minus two by 20 by zero. Let's rotate this to 180 degrees. So we are having now our LA here. And I think it's time to bring in here the rust. So uh, let's go quick to the asset browser. And I want to bring him to the uh, zero by zero by zero, pressing Alt and G. That's good. Now we can go into the camera by pressing zero on the numpad. Let's go to two by minus 1.6 by 0.05. I want to rotate this to 127 by zero by 12. Today I want to use uh, the panoramic, panoramic view, but we have to change here now to cycles let's bring another window and uh, we have to go with a cycles because uh, the panoramic panoramic view is only available in cycles let's go with the gpu compute and i want to change this here now to rendered now we can go into the camera settings and change this to panoramic i want to change the lens to 15 and we can bring in the viewport display pass by two to one yeah, let's jump quick onto our plane so we can adjust or bring in here a new material. So let's make a new one. Asphalt. I want to select the principle and use the node wrangler if you don't have this one. Just go to preferences and search for wrangler and enable this one. Let's select the principle BSDF and go to add principle setup. I want to use the asphalt N. And I like to use here the normal GL, uh, the opacity, roughness, and color map. Bring the stuff here inside. Now we can turn this a little bit down and change here some stuff. So I like to go in the scale with three and six. Now I want to turn down here the normal map a little bit. So it's not so bumpy and I want to bring in here a ramp into the roughness and bring down the black slider here to the linear point so it's a little bit more um, reflective here as we can see here now and i want to change here this off the light tree in the right so for me it's a little bit quicker to render here um i think that's the point of the illuminated light here okay now we are having everything uh, ready here for the last part and that's the light with the fog let's bring in a cube for some fog let's rename this to fog and i want to create a new material of this one underscore fog now let's change this one to 50 by 50 by 50 and now we want to delete the principle and search for a volume scatter Bring this one inside. I want to go now with the density of 0.3 and the anisotropy to 0.7. And for today, I want to bring this into a greenish yellow vibe. That's why I want to turn this now into something pink here. Always the opposite side of the color. So uh, we want to go today here with this hex code. And now the fog is a little bit more greenish uh, yellow. We want to adjust here our light. So uh, let's go here into the light settings. And we want to change this now to an area light. And we want to bring this, let's press Alt and Z here. 
we want to bring this uh, right here in the back of our LA. So let's go here now and leave this on white. But we want to go with 20,000. And let's change this now to 0 by 53 by 18 by minus 90 by 0. zero. And the last thing is we want to put some real lights here under uh, under this scene light. Now let's make a new uh, area light. So let's go here with light, area light. And this goes to minus 0.35 by 2.96 by 3.9. Now let's see. Let's leave this on white. And I want to go with a 100. Let's go here to ray visibility and change the volume scatter off. We are only using uh, the light and it's not volumetric in the fog here. Okay, let's go back. 100 is okay, but I want to change the shape to a rectangle 1.6 by 0.25. And now we can duplicate this by pressing Alt and D, not Shift and D, because when we are changing uh, one value in the light, everything will change on the others. Let's press now the 7 and Alt and Z again. Now we want to bring this to the other lights. Let's press G and Y and push this here right under the lights. Alt and D, G and Y and the last light. Alt and D, G and Y. And another light. So now we have um, a little bit more light here in this part yeah, and finally uh, I want to go here into the uh, color management and change this to a high contrast that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me check out my blender market or gummy page see you there and bye